bill that could save Colorado renters money is now heading to the Senate for debate. The newly proposed bill would update Colorado's 2019 Rental Application Fairness Act. Cardio News Channel 13's Natasha Lynn explains what that could mean for renters. One of the main goals of this bill is to minimize credit damage for renters applying for housing. The House passed at 43 to 19, with the majority coming from Democrats. But Republicans are worried about what it could do to landlords' bottom line. One of the things that hits uh, renting individuals and families a lot uh, in this economy is having to pay having to pay more than one application fee in the course of a home search. Democratic Representative Stephanie V. Hill for District 16 in El Paso County says at an average of $40, application fees can add up if the renter applies to multiple properties, gets denied, or if there's multiple adults applying. It's your personal information. How many times do you need to pay somebody else to look at it uh, just to get basically the same information? The bill proposes a portable tenant screening report by utilizing a consumer reporting agency. This allows renters to apply for multiple rental properties during a 30-day span without paying multiple application fees. We had an amendment that we added on the floor uh, on second reading uh, that created an additional path. So now we have two paths for a uh, landlord or property manager to take. The other potential option would require landlords to refund application fees if a renter doesn't sign a lease. So in any case, we are eliminating duplicate fees. We're just trying to prevent working families from having to pay the same money over and over again. We've reached out to House Republicans who voted against the bill but have not heard back yet. It now goes to the Senate for approval or to add amendments. And from there, it'll go to Governor Polis's desk to go into effect next year. Reporting in downtown Colorado Springs, I'm Natasha Lynn for KRDO News Channel 13.